Did you know this breast implant could save your life? This could prevent you from getting breast cancer. If you'd like to find out how, watch this video. Behind the mask. Welcome back to another season of BTM. I can't believe it already. We're at season three. I've got some super exciting news to start the season with. This is based on an article that just came out in our journal. And it's done by Dr. Musto and Dr. Kim at Northwestern University. They've done some really interesting research. And it's about breast implants and specifically about breast implant safety. So if we just kind of backtrack a little bit, Every time I have a breast consultation for a breast augmentation for, you know, to place an implant, people are always worried about the safety of implants. And thousands of patients have been studied over years looking at the safety of women with breast implants. So people are always focused on, you know, is it safe? The actual reality is that breast implants actually protect you from breast cancer. And I know that sounds totally crazy and something different than everyone commonly believes, but we've known that for a long time when we look at all of our data that women with breast implants actually have lower rates of breast cancer. And Dr. Kim and Dr. Musto and a bunch of other clever people at Northwestern in Chicago started to think, you know, why is it that patients who have breast implants actually have lower rates of breast cancer. And so they did something really smart. What they did is they took patients and they looked at the antibodies to markers for breast cancer. So let me just simplify that for you. If I take this breast implant and place it underneath a woman's breast, whether it's underneath the breast or underneath the muscle, it doesn't matter. Your body recognizes this implant as a foreign body. So what does your body do? Your body does the exact same thing no matter what goes in your body. So if I were to take this pen and implant it underneath your skin, your body would say, huh, this is not normal tissue. This is a foreign body. And your body would form a capsule around that implant. The same thing with the implant, the same thing with the pen, same thing with any foreign object in your body. Now, the interesting thing is that that capsule we know can create problems becoming hard and things like that. That's called capsular contracture. That's a problem related to the capsule. But this is the really interesting thing that the researchers found is that the capsule around the implant is most likely what is protecting you from getting breast cancer. And it's why women with breast implants have a lower rate of breast cancer. So what's going on? Well, we think that the capsule that's formed around the implant is kind of like a little army. And so there are cells that are in that capsule that are protecting you from breast cancer and they're recognizing a cell that's becoming a little bit bad, that may be coming, starting to become a breast cancer. And that cell from the cancer can go and kill the breast cancer, the precancerous cell, before the breast cancer even has a chance to form. And so just for a little bit of detail, so you kind of understand the picture, what these researchers did is they looked at a group of patients with an implant and a group of patients without an implant. And they compared the antibodies to known breast cancer antigens in those two groups. Okay, stay with me. So no implant, and they looked at the antigens. Do those patients have any little soldiers for these breast cancer markers? And the answer was no. In the patients with the implant, they looked at the soldiers. Are those soldiers prepared to fight the precancer cells? And the answer in some of the antigens that they studied was yes. So this is still very early research, but it's giving us an insight into a possible reason why patients with breast implants 
have a much lower rate of breast cancer than those patients without implants. I think the researchers are to be applauded. It's a great institution and it's really good research and it's just the beginning of hopefully what will really elucidate the reason why breast implants may actually be saving your life and give us a completely different way of thinking about it than thinking, oh gee, this breast implant, I don't wanna have that because it's harmful. Because that's just not the case. Breast implants actually give you less breast cancer than if you don't have a breast implant. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You know, my goal is always to educate patients. I like people to understand what's going on with plastic surgery and I like to do my part. These researchers have done, done a tremendous job and I think trying to get the word out is very important. Please stay tuned for other episodes of Behind the Mask Season 3. We've got episodes coming up every Sunday night at the usual time. We're going to be talking about a lot of different things this year. Usual things like complications, but we're going to be talking about other things. And it's going to be a great season. I look forward to having you watch. I welcome you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, by all means, leave them in the comments. I read them. I use them to make future episodes. I've, that's how you find out who's interested in what, what questions, who understands what. So please, by all means, ask me questions. Thanks again. Have a great night. Thank you for watching.